Hi guys, it's been a while since I've been on Fusion. I think the last time I posted a video on Fusion was like in November. It's been a long time and I've been posting Minecraft videos lately, but that's okay. I just found out something new about Fusion and I really wanted to share it with you. So let's jump right in. So what we're going to do today, if you saw the title, is that we're going to animate objects in Fusion 360. I'll be showing you how to do that, but first we need something to animate. So you quickly want to make any object, or if you want to do this on an existing file, go ahead. I'm just going to make a simple cube. So I have that cube. Now we have to change our workspace. So we go to this big button that says design, click on it, and we go to animation. Animations are really cool. And they basically make you don't move your object, you just move around it. And I'll show you that in one second. So, let's just say you really want to, well, animate. You just say that. One sec. Um. It's just really hard for me at the moment, I don't have my mouse. Alright, so if you didn't follow along what I did, I basically had to move around my object using the orbit tool, and then this pops up. So if we wanted to go to the beginning, we can just move this cursor down, and then we can do this play button at the bottom, and then you can see the object moving. I think this is really cool, and if you want to, you can always extend it, so you can take extended to how long it's going to be. You can see it goes all the way to 21, but if you want to make it longer or shorter, it really depends on you. And you can always delete this if you want to. So basically what I just did was I had to drag the cursor a specific amount of time. You have to say I want two seconds. Then you have to rotate in some way. Let's say I want to go to home. You have one movement. And you can keep adding more, like no one's stopping you. I know there's much more to do, I'm just showing you the basics. You can also use the pan tool. So first drag your cursor out, I'll do another two seconds, and then move around. And you can always play it, so you just drag this back to zero, press the play button. I just think it's super cool to show this because animations by themselves are awesome. Like, I play around with Microsoft PowerPoint a lot. I always play with animations and I was able to do these very cool things. And now finding it out in Fusion, I'm just even more excited. So, you can also add storyboards. So, if you want one storyboard to be just panning and you moving around, while another one's rotating using the orbit tool, that's fine. So you can just press this and add a new storyboard. And you can do clean or stuff like that. So I'll delete the storyboard. I'll add it and you see this new storyboard. So you can do clean, but start from the ender, from ender previous. And that basically takes you there. I just want to delete that since we don't need it. There are also annotations, so there's only one. It's called create callout. And you can just type something in here. So basically you you play it during your animation. So annotation, those are two very well confused words. So we're gonna create callout and as it says Drop the pin onto a component and enter the text and enter text to add an associated 3D annotation. So I want to add here, and let's just say hi. Like that's all I need. So now we are going to play from the beginning. So. As you can see, I'm trying to move right now, it's not working. It creates this button right here. And you can also view the annotation right here. I'm pretty sure you can delete this. 
yeah you can delete that then the last thing I want to show you is publish you can publish this video in I think you can do an mp4 you can do it in several other options so you get to look yeah so you can do this in several ways so this is like the window size I change it for my video sometimes and you can do all storyboards and current storyboards so it really depends on you if you want to publish this you don't have to it's not like you yeah you don't have to but that's basically it that's all I wanted to show you guys so thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something from it or if you're just watching this for fun it's fine by me so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really means a lot. I have just hit my one year anniversary and that's super exciting. So I'm gonna keep making videos for you guys and hopefully you enjoy them. So thank you again and have a safe and wonderful day.